Welcome back everyone, Houston Math Prep here with some examples of integrating using the log rule for u substitution. So we've got five examples here in this video. We're going to work all five of these out. You can skip to a particular one if you'd like. These are all log rules for integration. We've got our formula here. The integral of du over u is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of u. We'll be using this definition to work each of these problems. Let's look at the first one here. We have the integral of dx over x minus 2. So we've got u is equal to x minus 2 here. The reason this works out nicely is the derivative of this is actually 1. So we would say 1 dx, or in other words, just du, is equal to dx here. So we get a replacement of du for this and we actually get a replacement of u for this. It turns exactly into our integral formula for the log rule there. So we get the integral of du over u. This here tells us that that's going to be equal to the ln of the absolute value of u plus c. So we've used our log rule for integrals there. And now we just need to go ahead and replace u in terms of the original problem variable. So we'll go ahead and unsub our u and we'll say ln of the absolute value of x minus 2 plus c for this first one. For our second one here, the integral of dx over 2x plus 4. So again, we'll let our u equal everything in the denominator 2x plus 4. And now du this time, the derivative is actually 2. So we say du is 2 dx. So think about what we have here. We have u on the bottom. I just have dx on the top though. So if I want to know what to sub in for dx, then I would need to divide this by two to actually get what dx is, right? So dividing both sides by two actually tells us a substitution one half du is equal to dx. So we get u on the bottom, but our top is actually one half du. So we just want to be careful with constant multiples there and adjusting to make those work. Let's go ahead and bump our one half multiple out front. So that would be equal to one half integral of du over u. And now we'll go ahead and use our log rule. So that tells us we keep the one half. We'll get ln of absolute value of u plus c. And now we just replace our u back in terms of the original variable. And so that gives us that's equal to one half ln of the absolute value of 2x plus 4, all of that plus c. Looking at our third one, we have the integral of x over 3x squared plus 1 dx. So again, choosing our denominator to be u, and that's good because the derivative of the denominator is an x term, and that's what we have on top, right? So we'll just work out the constant multiple difference as we go. The derivative of this is actually 6x, so we get that du is 6x dx. And so this down here is going to be our u. We'll replace that. Up here we have x dx. So replacing x dx, I could divide both sides by 6 here to see what works out. So the replacement for this will be 1 6th du. Just like the last one, we'll go ahead and bump out the 1 6th constant multiple out front. So we'll say 1 6th integral of du over u. And now we have our log rule exactly, 1 6th ln of the absolute value of 3x squared plus 1, all of that, plus c. We're going to make an extra note here that this 3x squared plus 1, this 3x squared can't be negative because of the square term. And then if I add 1, this is always going to be positive already anyway. So actually the simplest version of this answer, because the inside of my absolute value is always going to be positive no matter what, is we would leave the absolute value brackets off and we would just say 1 6th ln of the quantity 3x squared plus 1 plus c as the simplest way to go for this answer. Remember that not every time you substitute something in the denominator as u, you're going to get something a log rule, right? Here we have the integral of dx over x plus 4 squared. We would make a substitution u equals x plus 4 here, but then the bottom is u squared, and so you'd get some sort of a du over u squared, and that would be a power rule, not a log rule. Similar thing over here. We would let u equal x plus 4, 
or this substitution, it would work nicely as well, but then you get the square root of u. Remember, that's going to be u to the one half on the bottom, so this would actually be the integral of u to the negative one half. Neither of these are actually a log rule that is just strictly du over u, so be careful when you do a denominator u substitution. It is not always a log rule. Let's finish up with our last two examples. Here we've got the integral of dx over x ln x. Now this one's a bit different, right? If we have u equal to x ln x on the bottom, that's going to be a product rule. If we try to do du from this, and that's unlikely to just be some constant multiple of dx on the top. So what we will want to do here is actually only choose part of our denominator to be our u. So u here is actually going to be ln of x. So this part would then be u. And the reason we choose that is because, now dx over x, think about what we get here. What's the derivative of ln x? Well, it's 1 over x. So du is equal to 1 over x dx. And this here, dx over x, is the same as 1 over x dx, right? So this is actually our du. So we do get du over u, but not by choosing the entire denominator for this one to be our u substitution. Okay, we do get our log rule here though, so we'll get ln of the absolute value of u plus c, just from our definition. And replacing ln x back in for u, then we actually get ln of the absolute value of ln of x. All right, so we have an ln of ln of x for this one. Looking at our last one, the integral of cosine x over two sine x minus one dx, now this one you have to make a decision, do I include the minus one, do I not include the minus one? We can probably see that the derivative of sine x is cosine x, which is up there, and that's nice. Now the derivative of this constant is going to be what? Answer is zero, so it's not going to hurt us at all to choose that minus one. It's going to make it nice because now the entire bottom is already just u, which we like for our log rule anyway. And that minus one isn't going to mess with our plans of du being two cosine x dx. Right now, we have all of the bottom being just u. We actually have cosine x dx. So we're off by a factor of two here. So if we divide both sides by two, we could actually use one half du is a replacement for cosine x dx. So this here becomes one half du. We'll bump our one half out front though. Let's say one half, constant multiple, integral du over u. And there's our log rule. So we get one half ln of the absolute value of u plus c. We'll go ahead and replace our u back in terms of x. We'll say one half ln of absolute value of two sine x minus one, all of that plus our constant. All right, everyone, hopefully that helps you practice your log rule for integration. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.